So now we're going to talk some about the, the PDUs themselves and understanding the limitations of PDUs. So I know everyone in data centers using rack PDUs to distribute power. Again, like I showed you before, they can support multiple different types of plugs. You know, I give a little description of some of them here. But the biggest thing to know is the rated amperage. So a lot of times when I deal with PDUs, I'm thinking in terms of amps because in the end, like think of your home power panel, right? Our circuit breakers have amperage ratings on them. I mean, everything I do is in terms of amperage to make sure that we don't overload a circuit breaker internal to the PDU or external. So with this PDU, let's say I select this first line cord here. I know that I have 24 amps for this whole strip. Next thing I need to know is each of these receptacles, these are C13 receptacles, they're rated 10 amps. Now, right away, you know, well, geez, if I really wanted to plug 10 amps in every one of these, that's 120 amps, there's no way I'm getting that. Even with the largest line cord, let's say I went with, you know, this is a European 63 amp, that's the most I'm going to get out of this. The next thing is there's, there's, you see the small A through F. Every pair of receptacles is protected by a 20 amp circuit breaker derated to 16 amps. So that means for every two receptacles, I only get 16 amps. Now that means I can have 10 on one, I can have six on the other, I can have eight and eight. It doesn't really make a difference, but you're limited by the circuit breaker. The last thing for this PDU is this one actually could support a three-phase Y distribution. And, and tomorrow when I talk about three-phase, I'll go more into what Y and delta are. But, but this one can support Y. The way this is wired is every four receptacles now is connected to a line. So that's another limitation if you use this in three-phase. A lot of times you'll see manufacturers will publish in, this information someplace. It might be a drawing like this. It might be a one-line diagram, but you should make sure you find the information if you're doing planning to understand what, it, what, what the information is. We should, you'll see when we get to the don'ts, there are several gotchas you need to think about when you're planning for PDUs.